What's up guys, it's Natalie. Welcome to this get it all done with me video. We have a lot going on. We actually have a guest coming to stay with us for the weekend. So I've got lots of little cleaning projects to do around the house. We're going to unbox a new stainless steel set of pots and pans and try those out. We're going to cook something and I desperately need to order a new vacuum and return some shoes. Anyway, <laughs> this is gonna be lots of cleaning motivation, lots of getting things done motivation. We're gonna have some fun, summery music. I want you to get up and get things done with me. Let me know what you're doing down in the comments. Let me know what you're getting done and let's just get started. Put your hair up, open those blinds and get ready to groove to the music. Seriously, I want you to let me know what you get done while watching this video. This video is half an hour long, the perfect amount of time for a quick clean. Let me know what you plan to accomplish in the comments and then hop up and get moving. Come back later and tell me what you were able to check off the list. Toaster, but man, he gets dog hair everywhere. It wasn't this bad in our Texas house, maybe because he had more room to roam around. But here in New York, he spends most of the day in bed. So making up the bed has become a whole new process. I vacuum off the loose hairs first, then come in with the magic tool, the Furwell Roller. This right here is the real MVP. Great, so now that the bed is clean, hopefully I can fold some laundry on it later because I got a lot of laundry going on. Um, but I wanted to show you my new scents from uh, Pura. Let me turn this around, I'll show you. So we have been loving our little uh, scent, scent thing dispenser from Pura. We just got some new um, scents here. This one is Coral, I think that's gonna be nice. Beach Glow, no idea what that means. We had Anna, so now we have Elsa and then Maui mango. I kind of went for like a summer theme here. So um, I one of the things on my list today was to replace the scent. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh my gosh. Oh, that smells so good. It's so fun to like change out the scent. Like I'm really excited to do like different ones for the holidays and stuff. Anyway, super easy. Hold on. There we go. Just pop it right in. Let's do a little unboxing here. I have something new and fun to try out. Thank you so much to El Teammate and Sweat, I think is how you say the um, pots and pans here. 
you let me know how you would pronounce it, but it's very, very fancy. But not so fancy that you can't afford it. This is a full set of stainless steel pots and pans everything that you need for the kitchen that we're going to test out today and it's only $160 which is super affordable for a whole entire set. It's stainless steel pots and pans and we're going to try them. We're going to cook a little, you know, I'm not real fancy but we're going to cook something in them. Anyway, got my buddy here, Toaster, as we unbox this. He's very scared of boxes so my guess is when I start to open up the individual items he's going to run away. Anyway, let's just get right to it and get this thing opened up. Very shiny, right? They're kind of like, they're like heavy bottomed but they're pretty lightweight um which is great because i'm always having to get my pots and pans down from up above me and i don't want something heavy like surprising me and banging me in the head so this is pretty awesome What is this, huh? Quantanium. What? Yeah, this one has a different, kind of almost like a non-stick kind of a deal. That's very nice. This looks like a perfect grilled cheese pan. Another one. Excellent. So everything is unboxed, if you will. Toaster did not like any of that. <laughs> this is a great set. Okay, so we've got two pans, like medium and small, that has that um, quantanium. Yes, so that's going to be really nice to use. And then we've got two pots with lids of different sizes, all stainless steel. We've got a nice huge stock pot. This is great. And I love that it has like the little measuring things in there because then you can kind of just measure like the amount of liquid that you need right into the pot. And the lids are the kind with the little like holes so they're not going to um, boil over. Like they're not as likely to boil over because they can let out a little bit of steam. And then we've got this nice big like deep um, other pan, you can also use like a saucepan, pot, whatever. So I think it's time I introduce you to one of my famous recipes. It's not really a recipe. It's a fancy ramen. Okay, here's how you make fancy ramen. It's really fancy. You just need a packet of ramen and some frozen vegetables. I'm going to put these into the microwave, get this cooking, and then we're just going to combine it all up. And I promise you, it makes it like a real meal and you're actually getting some vegetables. I eat this all of the time. Baby. 
now that I am satiated, <laughs> satiated, anyway, <laughs> it's time to get back to work. By the way, you can grab that set of pots and pans on Amazon or Wayfair, and I'll have the link down below. Okay, let's get back to work. Been feeling trapped down on the floor. I don't know what for. Feels like I'm gonna lose. Silence takes a hold. I can't let it go. Chain up, no one knows. But I won't let the stormy seas throw me in open water. Let me have my peace and leave me till tomorrow. Wind into my sail. Away from things I let go, floating on the waves. We go bottoms up, we go all the way. When you're feeling down, push the pain away. We go bottoms up, we go all the way. And face the another day. We go bottoms up. quite a bit of laundry to catch up on. We better get rolling. Let me have my peace and leave me till tomorrow. Wind into myself, away from things I let go. Floating on the way. We go bottoms up, we go all the way. When you're feeling down, push the pain. Are you getting lots done? Maybe you're super behind on laundry like me, that's okay. Just start a load going and then pick out a fun show or a video, maybe one on this channel, and fold laundry for just that long. Then get up and take a break. Sometimes it's hard to start a task because we feel like we need to do it all in one go. Guess what? You don't. Just a little at a time makes a big difference. I'm a big proponent of sorting laundry first and then folding and putting away one category at a time. It feels so much more efficient to fold five pairs of shorts in a row than to fold one shirt and then underwear and then socks and then fold another shirt. I find that everyone has their own way of doing laundry that works for them. And also, just like this time here, I usually have a pile of shirts that are wrinkled and need to go in the dryer again. It happens.
on. That was super boring. I did most of it except for the shirts. I hate doing the shirts and folding the shirts and hanging the shirts. <laughs> and they're a little wrinkly, so I might leave those for the next load. Do you do that too? Tell me you do that too. Anyway, I need to do something a little more fun. I need to clean this vacuum. So this vacuum, I get questions on it like every single day on Instagram. What vacuum is it? Would you recommend it? So one, I wouldn't recommend this vacuum. Um, one, because it is no longer made by Bissell. It's the Bissell Volt Plus. Um, but two, because it's not like a powerful, a powerful enough vacuum to use around your house. It's a great vacuum to just like have in your kitchen and just like take it out, clean up some quick messes, or like I use it for the bathroom every day. But this is our only vacuum right now besides our Roomba. We should be using our Roomba, but we don't. Um, <laughs> and so I am actually looking to replace it. So that's on the list of things to do today is to research. I have been talking about this for a year and putting it off. I don't know why. It's something I simply can't make up my mind on. I wanted to get a Dyson and then a lot of people have said no Dyson doesn't work that well and I just don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. But I'm about to have to make that decision because this thing is dying on me again. That's the other reason why I wouldn't recommend it even though again you can't purchase it because when I first had it, I used it for like six months and then it just completely stopped working. And then I finally got around to like fully cleaning it. Like I took it apart, I cleaned the filters, all of that. I mean, obviously I dump out the dirt every time it gets full, but it still needs more cleaning. So it's doing that to me again. It will come on for about five seconds. And since this is our only vacuum besides the Roomba, I need it to work so I can vacuum before our guest comes today. So we're gonna clean it first, see if it can last a little longer and then reward ourselves by researching more But this is one of my favorite things, this part on the end here. It's not one of focus for some reason. This part, it gets like a curly cue. Oh my god, it's so gross. It's so nasty, but it's so satisfying at the same time. Guys, you have to do this to your vacuum. You see that? Who? It's gross. Aw, I think that was part of my rug in Texas. Miss that rug. That is a heck of a lot better. So this wasn't even turning, so I'm hoping that will fix that. Don't forget, sorry, there's lots of noises like dishwasher, washing machine, anyway, we're cleaning. Right here. Oh, it's so gross. Okay. That should be a big part of it. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, so I actually like this part of the vacuum that it's like a little handheld that comes out. This is why it's not very powerful because all of its power comes from this. Um, so what I really need to do is wash, like rinse and wash the filter in there, but I do not have time to let it dry. So we're just gonna try to clean it really good. I'm gonna try to brush it off and then I'm gonna wash my hands. I'm gonna clean these scissors because it was blah, 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 blah. nasty and hopefully that will bring it back to life enough to help me vacuum the apartment tonight. That right there, that needs to be washed. But we do not have time to let it dry overnight, so 
hopefully this will be enough. So I know that this is not technically the washable part, it's this, because it actually says on here washable there, um, but I've washed this, so just saying. You can, even if it doesn't say that you should. And I probably have another one somewhere that I need to find. And when I give this vacuum away, <laughs> replace it. All right, moment of truth. Will the brush spin? Will the vacuum stay on? It's a fail, you guys. It didn't work. Oh no. Plan B, we're just gonna tidy up what we can in here, like the couch, I'm gonna clean the table, get these blankets washing. I'm gonna get like the little areas that need, that are tricky, like underneath my husband's desk with the five seconds I have on the vacuum and then we're gonna let Roomba take care of the rest. Interesting. So when I just use this, it's fine. I also just realized I cannot use the Roomba because it hasn't been plugged in. <sighs> well, <laughs> I guess we're not vacuuming. Um, anyway, since I have about three minutes until I need to switch the laundry, I thought let's get sit down on my computer and do some vacuum research. Um, I've got the window open behind me, so you might hear some New York City traffic. I also saw some neighbors eating on their patio. They're so fun to watch. They have like the biggest balcony I've ever seen. It's amazing. So, okay, I cannot decide on a vacuum. Here's my perfect vacuum. It does not exist, okay? Basically, it's kind of like the vacuum that I have now. What I like so much about it is that it stands upright on its own, like meaning that you can like stop vacuuming and like move something or get something out of the way and it stays upright. A lot of times, cordless vacuums don't do that. And that's the other thing I really want is a cordless vacuum. I just know that me personally will use it a bajillion times more if I don't have to unwrap a cord and plug it in. I know, I know they're more powerful, but it just doesn't work for me. Okay. <laughs> and we have like mostly hardwood floors. We have tile in our bathroom and we have area rugs. So it needs to be strong enough to pull dog hair off of those area rugs. And then I would really like it if it had attachments where I can do small things like crevices and stuff like that. Surely you can hear all of that traffic. Anyway, so I don't think the perfect vacuum exists. Oh, and I want the base of it to be small enough to like go around the toilet and stuff like that. So yeah, Dyson is an option. Oh my gosh, be quiet. So really I just need a dry vacuum that can stand upright, is cordless, is powerful enough to get dog hair, and I can use it on my apartment. So let's see if we can find something. All right, I believe I have made a decision. I wanna show you a couple of the vacuums I was looking at before I show you the one that I'm going to get. So 
let's flip around. I'm gonna talk about it quickly because I know that it does not look nice to look on, on a computer screen. So this is the Shark Cordless Pet Stick Vacuum, 4.7 um, stars. It has 100, over 100 views. Um, so it looked really good because it has like, hold on, I need my like my other hand. It has like lots of different um, attachments and stuff, which looks pretty cool. But, Somebody said it lost suction after a few weeks. Somebody else said it broke and I just, I don't know. I can't, I can't deal with that even though the price is pretty darn good. Okay, and then this one actually is really cool. I would get this one except I don't think it's gonna be strong enough for my carpet. But if you like my little vacuum, my little Bissell that I had and you need something for like your kitchen, I think this is great. I actually sent this to my mom. It has um, 4.9 out of five stars, almost uh, 50 reviews. So almost five stars and where is it it looks like this but you can dock it like this which is kind of cool right because you can just like have it in your kitchen whatever but it's really small um so it's not going to hold a lot but look that is the little part that comes off that you can do like quick little things for so i think this is like a great little sweeper it's you know a little bit expensive but look at the different prices i mean different uh, colors i think that's so cool anyway so this is not gonna work for us it even said some of the reviews like the reviews are great they just said like not gonna be your only vacuum but i really thought it was pretty cool let's talk about the next vacuum the bissell icon pet cordless vacuum 350 dollars it has four and a half stars, 686 reviews. This one was looking really good for a minute, you guys. Looking really good. Uh, here, there's a cute little dog. Obviously, it's for pets. Um, I don't know, it just looked like it had the right, like the brush head is really made for like hair, not to get wrapped around it. People had really good things to say about that. It does different, like, uh, what's it called? It has different like attachments, but then some of the reviews said that it literally broke, not the last vacuum, I was wrong, not the shark vacuum, this one, literally broke within a few months. Hello, I had the same experience. I don't trust you, Bissell, I'm sorry. So because of that, we, I have finally made a decision. Dun, da, da, da. I'm gonna try it the Dyson V11 Animal. It is a whopping $600, oh my gosh. Um, I'm on the Dyson website right now just because I wanted to compare models, so I'm gonna try to find this for a better price. I believe Bed Bath & Beyond carries it, which I know I can always get 20% off, so we're not gonna pay full price, okay? Anyway, it has five stars, 897 reviews, which is not like the sole reason that I'm getting it. I really looked through things. And so I believe, so what I don't like about it is I think the Dysons are kind of heavy. They're very top heavy. Don't love that. And you can't just like stop vacuuming and move something out of the way. You have to find a place to lean it against the wall. But that's how all of these vacuums were, except for maybe this cute little sweeper. I think it stood upright. Um, so yeah, that could be perfected in my opinion. I don't really know why the vacuum has to be a stick. I think they just think it looks cool. Like move that down here and it could stand up. That's all I'm saying. I don't really understand why. Somebody explain it to me. Okay, anyway, so people really like this and it has tons of different attachments and I'm almost certain it comes with a second battery, which is really great. I'm not really sure because like way down here, it says second battery somewhere, like way down here, where did it? Right here, it says, 120 minutes runtime based on consecutive use of two separate battery packs. So if that's true, that's great because you can be charging one while the other one works. So yeah, I'm gonna finally order a vacuum. Are you so happy? Of course, I will be showing you when I get it. I think that's enough fun and productivity for the day. Let's end with some towel folding and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>